Today we're walking through Texas history at the Battle of San Jacinto. I bet if there were cars back then we would have lost that battle. Nah, probably not. We'd have had trucks. The battle took place April 21st, 1836. The battle took place about four o'clock in the afternoon. The Texans creeped quietly closer to the Mexican army who was taking a late afternoon, bit of reprieve for themselves after marching so long. The battle only lasted 18 minutes. Within 18 minutes, the Mexican army well, it them would go on for hours. The Texans had the decisive victory. Santa Ana was on the run. Only 11 Texans had died. And nearly 650 Mexican troops had died. It's one of the most decisive battles in history. And it would be the one to end the Texas Revolution and grant Texas its freedom for Mexico. Becoming the Republic of Texas. Sam Houston was injured as he was shot in the leg actually the lower ankle and he waited until the next day when they captured Santa Ana to begin the treaty talks this would be the lasting image of Texas it would not only give Texas their freedom but it would create the heroes of Sam Houston Lamar Burleson Rusk Collinsworth, and so many more. Let's go around and see some of the markers, some of the barrel sites, and we'll go inside the monument. There's another monument, rather large. I'm going to get a shot up from way far away so you can see the whole thing. Here's the base of the monument. It's a tribute to all the men that were uh, monumental in helping the uh, state of Texas become a republic. Get its independence from Mexico. Here's the side of it with the Freemasons. And the back of it on who uh, actually erected the monument in 1936. Here's a map of the Simpson of Battleground, the historic site. It tells you what the monument is with the Battleship Texas, the Bayou, the Mexican camp, and uh, I'm actually standing at the Texan camp as we speak. Here's an overlook of where the Texan camp would have been. You got the twin sisters over there. A little small cemetery. And here's a plaque for the USS San Jacinto, commissioned in 1988. The namesake of the battle. Camp number two, Burleson's camp here. Hard to read, but there it is. Riding on base. Here's twin sisters. Texas by the citizens of Cincinnati. Of course, these are replicas. Here's a map of what the battle actually happened. This is Days of Olive Plaza.
people known to be buried here. Jefferson Duncan. And I go across to the uh, De Zavala monument. De Zavala monument for him. Sorry about the wind. I'm back. months after it's Freeman Wilkinson he was also in San Jacinto died in 1839 at Lynchburg as well and Captain William Wood also at San Jacinto died in Houston 1854 General Rusk, April 21st. Here was Millard's advance towards the Mexican army. The Mexican position on that day before. Here's a great view of the uh, monument as you enter straight from the road. This one states Mexican breastworks. This is the Mexican position. Here's the Mexican camp. We're near where a Mexican cannon was. It was just over there. And there was a cannon there at one point. Looks like it's been taken. And here's a spot where Houston's horse was killed and he was wounded in the ankle. Cannon was right in front of him. Here we are at Santa Ana's camp. As you can tell, Sam Houston wasn't very far away when he was wounded. The Napoleon of the West definitely fled from there. And he went west and those was captured the next day. We are actually a pretty good distance away from the monument itself. This kind of talks a little bit about where the cavalry was for the Mexican army. So the monument put here in 1936 for the centennial. But we're surrounded by all the, uh, the plants as the battleground is surrounded. Back. It's pretty far away. Kind of shows you how spread out the troops were for the Mexican army. And how ill prepared they were for the Texans. Here's the front of the monument. This is uh, dedicated, I believe, in 18, 1936. And then the construction was finalized, I believe it was three years later in 1939. All the way to the top, there's a star that sits up there. Alright, let's walk inside. On the outside, actually. Before we go inside, There's quite a few people here today. Here's a 
bust of Sam Houston. David Crockett, who was not here, it's him just to know he died in the Alamo. Lorenzo de Zavala, who we saw earlier. Stephen F. Austin, who is also not here. Interesting thing on the monument itself. Some of those paintings of the battle and freedom. I don't understand these things. These are fucking things anyway. Monument for the Heroes, 1930, 1936, sorry. Building it. Haitian veterans. Many years after. Here's a reflecting pool looking back. You see the Battleship Texas. And of course the Six Flags over Texas. Look back at her one more time from the very top. Unfortunately today the elevator was broken. It was used this morning, but it was broken sometime before, so I couldn't go up to the very top. But this is where Texas gained its freedom. Well, that'll end our tour today and walk through Texas history. As we stand looking at the reflecting pool, looking back at the battleship Texas, with the monument behind us, we can only think of what those Texans we're thinking about that day. The day that men were turned into heroes and those heroes became legends. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Until next time.